One, two, three, go. Go, go, go girl, I'm so high. Go, go, I'm so faded. Go, go ahead, testify. Okay, let's set this scene. You're going out with your man, just finished getting ready. You get that text thinking he's gonna be outside picking you up, when really, he just dumped you. You've been played. Played by the love of your life, girl. He not bae no more. He not your cinnamon apple no more, girl. He found somebody new to cuddle with in Netflix and chill. And now your heart broke. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. Who are you anymore? You don't want to feel that pain. So you just rip your heart out, you know? If you don't want to feel it, just let it go. And just hold that heart in your hand. Then throw it at his dumb little head. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I couldn't be serious for too long. But I wanted to go ahead and try something new. And if you guys want to see how I got this special effects look, please stay tuned. Okay you guys, so the first thing I'm starting out with is some Ben Nye Liquid Latex. You can really get liquid latex from any theater makeup store. You can get it online at eBay, Amazon, BenNye.com, you know, if that's really a thing. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm taking this Ben Nye Liquid Latex and what I'm doing is I'm just making an oblong shape to where my heart might be laying. You know I'm not a scientist or anything, so I'm pretty sure that's where your heart might be, so you know it's gonna go with it. <laughs> but on top of that latex, I'm taking gelatin I actually made myself. I'm gonna go ahead and link down below the video that I referenced to, to, to how I actually made the gelatin and my um, inspiration for actually even making this look. And so what I'm doing now is taking my latex and I'm actually just putting all that together because that's really what latex is for to just glue everything together. And now on top of this layer I'm taking some tissue paper as you can see I had torn it in half and what this is going to do is it's really going to make a flat surface between your skin and that gelatin so it really looks like your skin is like elevated and it's going to really look like you ripped your heart out and it's like your skin is swollen and it just looks so awesome like y'all I know I'm weird but it's just awesome to me so now I'm taking another layer of latex on top of that tissue paper just so that everything just flows all together because that's what you're really trying to do is make it as natural as possible so blending and layering is exactly what you need to do it's really actually no type of rules for special effects makeup so if you think it looks good then it looks good and now I'm taking Ben Nye's Bruise Color Wheel and I'm taking the darkest shade which is a really dark smoke purple so if you can't actually get your hands on a Ben Nye Bruise Color Wheel you can always use a cream purple shadow and I'm taking this on the outside because with any bruise, it's always, or bruise or wound, it's always darker on the outside. And then I'm going in with the brighter red to fill that in because with any bruise, you can see if you want to look at a reference photo that bruises start off darker on the outer parts of the wound and they get brighter um, towards the middle. So now I'm just taking that same bright red and putting that all over the gelatin and anywhere that I didn't already put that dark purple bruise color. And so now I'm taking a black cream shadow or black cream makeup that's by Ben Nye as well and filling in the hole where you ripped your heart out and making sure it's black all the way. And now I'm just filling in any crevices because it was kind of hard to um, do this without really looking at myself closer in the mirror. So I'm just making sure everything's filled in and all that white tissue and latex is covered. So now I'm taking Ben Nye's Thick Blood. So using this scab blood is really going to give some texture to this wound because after using the scab blood, I'm going to actually go in and use regular dark blood that's also by Ben Nye and just start putting this everywhere. Like as you can see, I'm already putting it inside the wound and it's already dripping and I almost had a nip slip y'all like whoa girl. And now I'm just stippling blood everywhere just to finish up the wound and make it even more gory and awesome looking. And with everything done, the finishing touch is obviously the heart, which is also in that video showing how to make a gelatin heart. And now you can cry your heart out with the projectile you're going to use to throw at the boy head who dumped you, girl. Or you can just look cute with blood everywhere. Possibly eat it. It's edible. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this special effects makeup was different from what y'all usually see from me. If you like what you see, please comment down below. Give me feedback. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.